Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alcibi and I'm the Schufer Designs Distributor in South Africa. Now I'm sure that everybody is recognizing who's next to me. This is Glenda Sparling and if you are, are a Schufer Designs customer, I'm sure you've seen her videos, you've done her sew-alongs. So Glenda, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much Alcibi, it's a pleasure to be here today. So I actually cornered Glenda and I asked her for an interview because I really wanted everybody to see the Glenda we see off camera as well. The fun, yeah. let's, let's put it the fun Glenda, because we, if you've seen some of our outtakes, we do laugh a lot. I know, I know. it. I don't know if I want to show you the off camera Glenda <laughs> without the makeup, without the lipstick. I don't know about that, <laughs> but um, you know, Elsa B has been here with me for a couple of weeks now and we've been having a really, really good time doing these videos for you, so. Yeah. I'll do my best. All right. So <laughs> here comes the questions. Now, the first question that I'm going to ask, and I'm sure a lot of people out there are wondering, is who is Glenda Sparling? Just tell us a little bit more about yourself. You mean outside of my Sherfa Out, Designs outside life? Of, outside of your Sherfa Designs life. <laughs> I've been doing Sherfa Designs now for just over 40 years, and it doesn't seem like there was ever another life. But actually, prior to this, and it really does feel like a million years mm -hmm. ago, I was a home economics teacher. So when I was growing up in Calgary, Calgary, Alberta, by the way, I was born in a tiny little northern Manitoba town called Flin Flon, Manitoba, named after an Irishman whose name was Flynn Tabity Flonaton. And when I was... <laughs> yes, it's really a mouthful. And when I was two, we moved to Calgary, and then I started studying at the university in Calgary, and then finished off my first degree at the university mm -hmm. in Edmonton. And I studied home economics and teaching, and that's what I ended up doing, was becoming a home economics teacher. And then during that time, I was also coming to the United States, I was working on my master's degree down in Eugene, Oregon, which is where I met my husband, and um, moved down to the United States, so I've lived here more than I actually have lived in, in Canada, but uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience, and during that time when I was initially there, I did go to work for Stretch and Sew, that's a name that some of you likely recognize, mm -hmm. they were leaders in the knit and stretch sewing industry, and that was an excellent experience for me. And then after that, we went into Surefit Designs. Okay, so a big part of your life has been really Surefit Designs. Absolutely, a yeah. very, very big part yes. of my life. All oh, right. So another question, and I thought, let's just ask Glenda, what is your favorite fabric to sew with? I know all of us have got a fabric that we love working with. And I think, again, after all of these years mm. of sewing, that I can honestly say that the Ponte Roma is one of the nicest fabrics that I have ever worked with. I know it's a knit and I know some of our customers are a little bit anxious to be sewing with knits because they're afraid of the, the properties that that yes. knits that excuse me that knit fabrics present different from woven fabrics. But Ponte Roma has just enough stretch to make it real comfortable when you're sitting down. When you stand up it rebounds nicely, recovers very nicely, and it's easy to sew with. You don't have to do a lot of different things mm. with your sewing machine, and it's just so comfortable to wear. I, I've sewn pants, I've sewn uh, tops when I did the color blocking lesson, mm. and then I've also sewn um, what am I, like a bomber, well, similar to the style similar jacket. To style, he, similar to that style, except for I put a hood on it. Yeah. And all done out of the Ponte Roma, and it was just delightful to sew with. So that really is one of my very, very favorite ones. And then I know all of us have got this fabric that we say, never again. Oh gosh. What is your Absolutely. never again fabric? Yeah. Well, I actually have two of them, and one of them I don't know the name for, but the first one that I don't like sewing with is Slinky. Slinky is just that. It is so slinky mm. and slippery and slithery. That, and it also comes in a very wide um, piece of fabric. So it means that if your cutting table isn't wide enough, it's all always falling off, and when it falls off, it stretches. So 
it and it presents its own properties mm -hmm. that really need addressing. You need a special needle to sew to sew with Slinky, and um, tension has to change on your sewing machine. And then when you get it done, you have to hope that it doesn't stretch yeah. vertically. Yeah. And sometimes it. And can. you've always got to test and see what techniques that fabric wants as well because. It really, it can just stretch uncontrollably. Right, so. I know it can. So that's one of my least favorite to sew, sew with. And then, I don't have it here to show you, but there's, I think some of you have seen my gold uh, reversible jacket that I did with this really pretty gold fabric on the outside, and then it was fleece on the inside, and I can reverse it. But this gold fabric was just a nightmare. I would, once it got cut, I swear this stuff started unraveling just sitting on the table. So even mm. though I cut it with 5 8 inch seam allowance or you know one and a half centimeter mm. seam allowances, by the time I got to working with a couple of the other parts, because I'd done princess seams in it, and there was a fair bit of handling. Oh my gosh, the seam allowances were raveling so badly that I ended up just surging off all of the mm. edges, neatening the fabric, and then hoping that I hadn't lost too much of the, mm. the seam allowance to put it all together. Mm. That is another fabric that, I don't know what the name of it was, I got it on a trip to New York, mm. I loved it, but my goodness, it was mm. so it's, difficult to sew it's with. It's like a jacket that I recently made, and I just said, never again. Right. I've always wanted to work with this this fabric, but never again. And what again. was the fabric that you worked with? Boucle. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, that... That was the worst, the unraveling, <laughs> the, the, I don't know, just the pulling, it just caught on everything. Right, right. So I've always wanted a boucle jacket, I decided, you know what? I think it wasn't because I wanted it was tweet that I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I've got it mixed up, but <laughs> that's, that's it. So. That's like my brother and I one time were making croissant from scratch. Yes. And it was a really excellent learning experience, but I will never make croissant again from scratch. <laughs> it just took way too much time and it was really, really fussy to do. Just easier to go so, and buy them. Right, just exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then when we also all of us are making our patterns or we've got a pattern. We always seem to have that favorite garment. And I know a couple of my customers that will go make 10 or 12 in one go of it. Have you got a pattern that you I have to do. redo? I do. Besides making yoga pants out of Ponte Roma, I bet I've got easily eight pairs of, of yoga pants. There is another style that mm -hmm. I have made over and over and over again. And it's actually in our Pants and Mix and Multiply book, this one right here, and it's style number one. And you may or may not like the wider leg that's on here. Actually, you know, wide legs have definitely come back in fashion. Yeah. But instead of just being, I'll show this up to the camera, instead of just being flared out like this, it's just straight down. Mm -hmm. But it's the waistline treatment that mm -hmm. I absolutely love. And I, I did bring a pair of pants here to, to show you because these pants, mm. and I've, I, sorry, I want to say that I've actually seen them because you've got jeans in them, you've got so many styles, you've actually got one of them on at the moment as well, and I know. it's just, I'm actually going to try that style. Because yeah, my yellow and blue floral pants, yeah. and then these ones, yes. and then I've got, well, I again, here, again, I bet I've sewn at least six, no, there's way more than mm. six pairs of them, I'm going to say easily eight or nine pairs of these, because... What, it, what you do on the side seam, and the other thing I should say is you can sew these out of a woven fabric, whether it's a stretch woven or just a regular mm -hmm. woven fabric. What you do is at the waist edge, and this is actually where that waist edge is going to fit on my, mm -hmm. my body. All you do is build this up one inch, which is two and a half centimeters. And then you add, let's see if I've got a space here I can show you you add this one inch wide elastic at that built up edge mm -hmm. and then you zigzag it on to the upper edge and then all you do is turn it over and I don't top stitch this because I didn't want mm -hmm. I didn't want the look of a pull on elasticized yes. waist pant yeah. so what I did was to keep it in place is I stitched in the ditch where the side seams, center front, center back, and my dart seams are, I just stitched in the ditch to hold that inside. And it won't come up. And so you just, I mean, and they are so incredibly comfortable. 
that it's just one of those it's one of those things that when I need to make a new pair of pants and I'm in a hurry and I don't have a lot of time mm -hmm. I make these ones because number one I've done it many many, many, times, many times and yeah. it's very familiar to me but also because it fit, fits yeah. and sits so nicely at my waistline yeah. and we're also actually busy with a sew along where we're going to be using this finish yes. to show them how to do yes. it and yes. we're going to show you how to do it in a knit which will be yes. the first time also a pontiroma that's which is right. your favorite right so, <laughs> so we're combining yeah. her favorite and my favorite here at the same time yeah <laughs> um, so, so I'm, I'm actually glad to hear that it's that all of us, it's not or not just all of us, but you as well do have your favorite patterns. Absolutely, I do. Yeah. So. Everything that I design, you know, I sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. um, and it just depends because you get it done and then you go, oh, I don't know that I like this fabric or mm -hmm. maybe I should have changed the design line a little mm -hmm. bit. But it's the fun of designing and, you know, that the fact that it's going yeah. to fit your unique body afterward. Yeah. But it's also sometimes we limit it on time. So we don't always have to go back and des design every garment. We can really go and just use our patterns we've already designed. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it just recently that one of my customers in the U.S. said that she loved your jean jacket so long so much that she's become a jean jacket junkie? And then, <laughs> so I just thought that was really, really cute. Uh, she said, Elsa be set off the jean monster in yeah. me. <laughs> so. That was actually so good, the way she, she yeah. actually said that. Yeah. So, you know, we all, as I said, I'm glad to know it's all of us that get our favorite go-to pattern that we like to use. Right, so. right, for sure. Then I've got one more question for you. No, I've actually got two more questions I want okay. to ask you. So uh, while we were chatting, Linda actually told me the, the whole story behind the designing stylus and I thought you guys would actually love to know how this happened. Well, this is um, an interesting story, Elsa B, because throughout my lifetime I have uh, always had challenges, as has everybody, and sometimes when you don't get a solution immediately for a challenge or you know, whatever it is you want to do, I will put that on my head at night and I will think about it before I go to sleep and then I just give it over to God to help me find the solution. Mm -hmm. And so this goes back to the very, very beginning of SureFit Designs, which was in 1982. And I was working with a number of different French curves and I'm sure Lots of our customers yes. have their own little ones like this, and they're all different shapes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I was using them as I was working on the master patterns. And I said one day to my husband, Wes, I said, you know, we need to have a tool that incorporates all of these curves for all parts of our body on one tool mm -hmm. so that you don't have to have, yes. you know, 10 different French yeah. curves. And so he looked at me and he said, well, just come up with it. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, that got my brain just kind of like whirling. And so one of those nights I went to bed and I just asked God for help. And I said, this is what I need to do. I need to have a tool that's going to have all the shapes of our body. So that night, I will always remember this. It was two o'clock in the morning, and I just sat bolt upright in bed, and I shook Wes, and I said, wake up, honey, wake up. I said, I've got a couple of ideas for, our, for this tool. And he just mumbled and rolled over and said, go out to the garage and put it together. <laughs> so I did. I went out to the garage, and I had some cardboard, and I had all my other little French curves, and I put them together. I had two images in my mind of how I could put the curves together and I cut them out in cardboard I taped them all mm -hmm. together and then I went back to bed and I slept like a log and in the morning I woke up and I always woke up earlier than Wes and I shook him again <laughs> I said which one do you like this one or this one and he looked at them and he said this one and that's how the designing stylus was born. And it's just never changed. It has never, never changed. changed. It's yeah. never changed. 
in 40 plus years. What has changed is some of the coloring. We used to be blue and white and the design wasn't like this on the front, but we've always had this exact same shape and it's always had the seam, the allowances, seam allowances on the thing. inside. Mm -hmm. And you know, everybody who uses SureFit designs and even people who don't use SureFit designs per se, but so I've heard, I've heard that some of my customers have actually just bought the shoe for designs ruler because of all the curves that right, they can use. Exactly. And some of them that <coughs> even though they don't work with shoe for designs, but they buy the birder magazines, all of that. Remember the birder magazines don't have seam allowance on them. That's right. Those patterns that That's you're tracing. Right. So this is a great tool to just go and add your seam allowances as yes, well. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. So yes, yeah. it hasn't yeah. it hasn't changed since that. Yeah night at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> and Linda has actually all the other tools that we have our essential tools she's actually come up with all these ideas and it's always um, like you said sometimes there was space on the material that they were cutting and you had to fill in the space and you just went ahead and she designed our companion designers companion mm -hmm. and all the other tools as well so. yes and my my husband <clears throat> was always the one who would say because I'd say to him I don't know what I'm going to do with that space. And he'd say, oh, you'll come up with it. <laughs> and so, again, you know, it's been, yes. um, it's been wonderful. That it's is so great. great. Yeah. Then my last question that I want to ask Linda is, what is your plans for the future? Oh, my goodness. I wish I knew Elsabi. But um, the one thing I do know yes. is that... I have already bought my airline ticket to come and visit you in South Africa. You can see the big grin. I convinced I her to come and visit us. <laughs> so I'm going to be there in February. I actually leave here on right now, January the 25th. So if all things are equal, it will be January the 25th. I'm leaving the U.S. and I will be in South Africa until the end of February yeah. and Elsabi has already told me <laughs> all of the things that we are going to do we're going to have some fun along with the work yeah I, I have to give her a break now and then I can't, I can't just make her work <laughs> so we've got I think if, with all the customers that will want to meet you you know what you might just end up working all the time <laughs> So what do we call the meet and greets? We're going to do yeah. two or three of those. Some meet and, uh, meet and greets or, or even we sometimes call it the, a road show. So we've got to make sure we visit our Cape Town customers. We want to meet our, all our Hateng customers. We are still looking for a place. If we can, we would love to go to Brazil and Natal as well. Okay. But on top of that, when we are at these places, We'll go wine tasting. I we'll know it. I have heard so stuff. much about the South African wines, and I'm a wine drinker, so I'm really looking forward yeah. to that. And let us not forget fabric shopping. Oh, yes. I have drooled over the fabric <laughs> shops that you have there. So. That is going to be, I think, the she'll, she'll have to come back with an extra two or three suitcases. Right. Because I'm going to take it to all my favorites. We're going Habby and Lace. We're going right. to go Chandler and Four Ways. We're going to go Dubai Center. If we're in Cape Town, there's someone I want to still go and see. Yeah. I haven't been there. That will be experience. Yeah, that's going to be so much fun so to go fabric lots of, shopping. Lots of fun you know, and with all the other stuff. Elsa B and I went shopping yesterday just to have some girl time out. And I can tell you she's a really bad influence on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, we bought up a storm yesterday. Yes, yes. Oh, no. But in any case, so we are all looking forward to it. And I know with you hearing now that she is coming to visit us in South Africa, I'm going to tell you, if you're not on my newsletter yet, you want to join my newsletter, Absolutely. you've got to join my Facebook page as well, the Shure for Design South Africa. I will be announcing closer to the time all the places we will be going to, yes. what we are planning. You don't want to miss out on meeting Linda. You are going to have so much fun. And um, it's just going to be fun. I it's think so. It's just going to be fun. I think so. And if you've got any recommendations for us where we can go, I would also appreciate that because we are sourcing venues. We've got the list. I've just got to find the venues for us. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I would really enjoy or just like to hear some of the venues in your areas as well. Well, also be. I know it's going to be a very, very mm -hmm. enjoyable trip. So... Thank, thank you, you so much for inviting me. It's just going to be great. Thank you, Glinda. But thank you so much that I could Absolutely. actually have this little chat with you so that we can just 
not introduce you. Everybody knows about know. you, but yeah. just to see a little bit behind the scenes as well, see what you know, the Glenda behind the cameras as well, because I know your customers all love you. Yeah, and I think you. it's some nice information just to know a little bit more about the person as well. Thank you. See so, you in February. Thank you, everybody. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.